Hello everyone. The bulk leave allocation app helps you to configure the bulk leave allocation as a user and a manager. You, have, you can allocate a multiple leaves to the multiple employees with a single click and also refuse or cancel the leave in bulk for multiple employees. Display bulk leave allocation in the list view and the Kanban view is also we can also use the filter and group by options in the bulk view allocation. At first, let's complete the user configurations for that we need to get into the settings. Under user and companies, we can see the list of users created. So from here, let me get into the Mitchell admin. User, uh, that is user can have the two options, like one is an user, another one is a manager. We can select a manager option. It will give us a bulk leave allocation menu in the time off. Let's see that. For that, we need to get into a uh, time off. And from here you can see there is a menu named bulk leave allocation. Let me get into that. And from here, these are the uh, allocations that we have created. Let me get into one of the allocations. Let's duplicate this. And from here we need to give the valid period. For that I'm going to choose the valid period. Okay. Yes, now I have selected the valid period and here we need to give the durations and from here we need to add an employees by clicking on the add a line button and you can just select it and you can add employees anytime you need. Okay, so once this is done, let me confirm this one and we have the validate button to allocate and bulk leave allocations for multiple employees. Now you can see the allocations are there and also it will change this to the approved state. You have the smart button of allocations to view all the allocations which we have created now. And also there is a uh, separate allocation leave tab to view all the allocations status as well. Okay. Let me get into the tab. And from here you can see all the approved bulk allocations are here. If needed you can just get into that and you can see the status of it. Let me get back to the bulk leave allocation. Now we have other options called refuse. So by using that we can refuse a list of leaves for the multiple employees. So you can see the status is also changed to refuse and you can see all the status of the allocations will also change this to refused. Okay. So like the same way we have then we can we have the two views that is one is the list view and also we have the Kanban view for bulk leave allocation we can make use of this. And also we have the other more options like uh, we have the filter option. In the filter we can use a refused to see a uh, separate refused list of uh, bulk leave allocations. And also we have an approved one that is you can only see an approved bulk leave allocations list. Okay this can be viewed in both the uh, list view as well as the Kanban view. And the normal user can see only their own allocations alone. If we give an access for a uh, user as a normal user for this bulk leave allocation, that user can see only their own allocations. Okay. So in this way, we can make use of this module to get or create and bulk leave allocations for multiple employees. Thank you for watching.